Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, you're, you're watching, watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <laughs> you were quoted as saying that you believe Adrian Broner is beatable. You told our Jim Gray, listen, Saturday night, I'm basically going to get into the ring and beat him up. What have you seen that you believe makes Adrian Broner vulnerable? Well, I've seen a few mistakes that he's made. I see that he's beatable. But at the end of the day, I have to uh, come down and perform myself and, uh, you know, come out with the victory, find a way to come out with the victory. He's gonna, I'm very versatile. And, you know, we're going to switch up styles when we have to, when we need to. But overall, to entertain the fans, he's a talented fighter. I'm a talented fighter. There's a reason why we are two former world champions. But at the end of the day, there could only be one winner. And I plan, I plan to be that winner. And if you give me the chance, I would like to translate in Spanish. Sure. Uh, muchas gracias a todos por venir. Les agradezco todo su apoyo, a todo mi, a mi equipo, a, a, a Dios por la oportunidad, a Mega Promotion, TGV Promotion, Lou de Bella, a todos que hicieron esto posible, a Heyman o a Lupe Valencia. Este, estoy muy agradecido por la oportunidad. Yo vengo muy bien entrenado, muy bien preparado. Mi equipo hizo un gran trabajo. Tuvimos un campamento de siete semanas y todo nos salió cerca de la perfección. Gracias a Dios y esperemos que toda nuestra afición de Nueva York pueda salir a la pelea en el Barclays Center para gozar de una buena noche de box. Van a haber tres peleas espectaculares y la mía va a ser especial. Entonces vengan, los veo muy pronto, los veo en menos de dos días. Va a estar muy bueno, una bonita noche. You've heard Jesse, he said he thinks you're beatable, you're vulnerable. What's your response? Uh, this is a fake ass press hunt. This shit garbage. And I'm just ready to fight. I ain't worried about Jesse. And um, and if you like, uh, can I say that in Spanish? Uh, soy Adrian. Uh, ¿cómo te llamas? Uh, Jesse Bang. Uh, punto. <laughs> sí. In the big picture of your career, Adrian, how important is this fight going forward? Um, honestly, uh, this is a very important fight for my career on a serious level. And, you know, uh, I know he trained hard because this is a chance to, you know, uh, it's like a parlay, you know? This is the last win and, and it, it can take me, it can take me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, I know he trained hard, I ain't worried about that, you know, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. We can fight right now with the little people I got in. I know we're going to win. We out. Jesse, I was reading something and you said that you believe that Adrian's had problems when he stepped up to welterweight. He did too. He, he, he ain't win his fights when he stepped up. You are. You've been fighting at welterweight for a while. Do you believe he, because, he lost. because you're a full-fledged welterweight, that's an advantage for you in this fight? Definitely. I, I do feel that I have an advantage. I am a taller fighter. I am a stronger fighter. Uh, a more experienced fighter. And not only that, but a full-grown welterweight. I feel very comfortable leading into this fight. I'm ready for victory. What's your response to that? I don't want to hear none of that shit. When you stepped up and you fought Timothy Bradley, you lost. When you stepped up and you fought Pacquiao, you lost. So shut that shit up, bitch ass nigga. So what I'm saying is this. I'm a four-time world champion. I've been world champion at 47 before. So, I don't want to hear nothing. Quit, quit talking about all the losses. You ain't them. You got to beat me first. No homo. Come on, man. Get up out of here, man. What will a win Saturday night against a quality fighter like Jesse do for you in your career going I hope y'all give me credit. I hope y'all just throw it under the rug because I'm going to beat his ass. I hope y'all just get, give me the credit that I deserve. I, that's all I want. And I know all y'all against me. Him right here, Leonard has be against me. They, they, they with this bitch ass nigga. Leonard a bitch ass nigga too. He can, you, you don't disrespect me like that. Man, shut up. You ain't with me. You ain't with me. I'm you with, with Jesse. I'm with Mayweather Promotions. You with, oh yeah. You ain't with me.
This I'm a real one. I'm a real one. This isn't about me. You guys got to fight. Yeah, all right. Shut night. that soft ass and shit the best, up. And the best man. Shut that soft, that's some soft ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up. All that soft talking. I know you can do it, man. You got the, you got the, let's shut that soft ass shit up. Man. So, you ain't with me. How about this? If you're victorious Saturday night. I'm going to be victorious. What's the future? I know they all against me. When this is what they want. They want AB. They want AB to go out. They don't want me to, they don't want me to be, they don't want me to be, they don't want me to be in nice cars. They don't want me to be in Rolexes. They don't want me to be in APs. They don't want me to be in private jets. They want me to lose this fight, go up under the rug, and never be talked about again. They don't want me to. They don't want me to see see the top of my pinnacle. But guess what, man? I train my ass off. I'm not losing to no Jesse Vargas, man. Y'all got me fucked up. With a victory Saturday, when do you see Adrian Brand Broner? As a world champion again, or do you of just course, want to be in I'll, big time listen, fights? Four time world champion, soon to be five time world champion. Like I said, 2018, I'm taking over, man. And it start with Jesse Vargas. Like I said, like I said, Leonard, you ain't with me. Jesse, we'll wrap it up with this. What happens? I'm about billions, man. I'm about billions. Saturday night, you're going to see a great show. We're going to have three great fights. None of y'all would be here. For only of course, what you mentioned, you know, and uh, we're going to top it off with the main event. It's going to be all fireworks, as Charlo just said. And, you know, come and be entertained. Enjoy a good night of boxing. And I will be victorious. Come out, y'all. In the new mecca of boxing, Barclay Center here in Brooklyn, 9 p.m. Eastern on Showtime Championship Boxing. We will now face off the fighters. Mm.